Hello and welcome to card number three of this month's um, card class. So this one is an easel card and an easel card is pretty much it stands up when you open it, which would look like this. And from the side, you can see it's like a triangle shape that um, comes out and it will sit up like this. And when you fold it back together, you just lift this up and fold it flat so this is how it will arrive at the person's house and I will show you how to put this together all right so again this time I there's no stamping on the inside but your card is folded your base is folded and it is again just a simple um, four and a quarter by five and a half card base where I folded it down in the middle the front and this time I creased it towards the inside of the card the other one the center cross we had was going to the outside this is going to the inside okay so at the end when we're done it should stand up like this okay like this so what we want to do first is we're gonna put the silver adhesive, uh, silver glitter paper under the strip, and I'm just using a little bit of my liquid adhesive here, and this goes on a flap down at the bottom here. And again, the liquid will help to just line it up easier and don't worry if you got a little bit adhesive like I just did on the flap there that's fine so as you can see it's flash with the end here so this is the start of our card now this piece is already pre-stamped and the reason being because this I used white ink or close to my heart uh, white pigment ink and the pigment ink is a very thick ink and it takes a while to dry and this is a silver ink that also needs a little bit to dry so these are both pigment inks and if you work with them stamp your image put it aside overnight and let it dry otherwise it's really messy all right so this one here goes on top just butting up with the strip and then when you close your card it completely covers it so the tricky part is now you only want adhesive on this part here because this needs to be open and the easiest way to do it is normally you would put I always tell you put adhesive on the piece that you want to adhere to something but in this case uh, to make sure we are not going overboard and getting adhesive on this side I'm just gonna put adhesive down here on the flap that way I know it's exactly where I need it and then I can line up my card and you might want to open it all the way it might be easier for you to see so here's my silver strip and all I have to do is line this piece up with my silver strip and make sure it covers the front and again just push it down and now your card is just right adhered so there's no adhesive anywhere sticking out I just have it on the piece that I needed it and this sits on top here and when you close it it completely covers your card now the next thing is this strip and this one simply goes on the inside part of the card which is this big one here and we just adhere it to the bottom nothing fancy just line it up push it down and that's it so while this card is creased pretty good it holds up on its own um, but normally when we put it in the mail and it goes through the mail it comes pretty flat and the problem often is it would not stay open like this so um, 
you want to raise this for sure and by raising i mean you have to use some foam spacers uh, to give them a little bit of height otherwise um, it's going to be too flat and it will not catch our top here and i'll show you what i did oops i'm just gonna put a couple of these on here take the backing off and this one goes in the center and you just show a little bit of the blue down here this will go a little bit over, more over here and it doesn't have to be exact i don't know quarter inch or so it's just so you have a little bit showing there we go and that is our catch so when you close your card see it flat goes flat no problem getting it in the envelope and when you get it you can put it up like this and this little thing will catch our top but now we still have to decorate our top part so uh, in your set you will go like well wait a second Claudia I got three circles with the stems on and that's correct that's how my started mine were circles too all I did was I took my scissors and cut on each of them the bottom part off. And you can leave them as circles too, but I just thought it looks nicer when um, it's a little bit flattened on the bottom. Okay, and then i just gonna put this one about here so we can put the star on top. A little bit more up and then these two are raised again with foam uh, uh, spacers and so is our little star you can adhere them flat if you want to but I think it just gives it a little bit more excitement if you have these little spacers on the back here and you don't need a lot oops I guess that was a backside I stamped before <laughs> okay so here we go and we're gonna put one on the star so let's put the star right here then we put the one shepherd group over here and the other one I put the other one a little bit lower so about here all right and there you have it that's our little nativity scene card quick and easy and if you leave your if you leave your circles round just make sure you lay them down first before you adhere them and see how you have to move them so you don't cover up some of the writing all right i hope you like this little in uh intricate um nativity scene card and then there's one more to come so stay tuned thanks for watching bye bye